I'm Ryan Dumet. Thanks for joining us. The problem of city websites becoming a target is our top story tonight. WFT's Jonathan Munoz joins us now with more details. Jonathan, what's the problem? A Jacksonville police officer fired four shots in domestic violence arrest. Police say they found Devontae Jones strangling a woman Rise inside an apartment. I mean, he fled and officers nowhere. chased him. Their tasers missed and when they caught up with him, Jones rustled away a taser. Police say when Jones aimed it, the officer happened, opened fire with his gun. Devontae Jones was stable after surgery. This is how his brother reacted after the shooting. Barrage of gunshots. I mean, they just came out of nowhere. And then that's, I'm waking up to my a crying wife telling me that my brother was just shot. How would you feel? The state attorney's office and the sheriff's office are investigating to determine if the use of force was warranted. The officer is on administrative leave. Eight people were killed and 10 others were injured when a church van landed in a canal in southwest Florida. The van was traveling from Fort Myers to Fort Pierce overnight. It ran a stop sign in Glades County, crossed Highway 27, and nosedived down a steep embankment into a canal. Inside the van, there were a total of 18 occupants. At this time, eight are confirmed deceased. Ten other occupants were transported to local hospitals, some of which uh, had sustained serious injuries. The church van was overloaded. It only had seats for 15. The reason it went through the stop sign isn't known, but officials say it was not foggy at the time of the accident. Well, Ryan, we saw a cold winter-like temperatures over the weekend and a cold morning today. And, the, you know, the warm weather actually came in pretty quickly. Yeah, it really did. And Brittany Van Voorhees joins us in the Weather Center now. Brittany, what can we expect for tonight? Thank you, Brittany. A bill moving forward in the legislature would favor civil citations over jail time for minor crimes committed by juveniles. WFT's Kara Hutchins joins us now in the newsroom with more on the bill. Thanks, Kara. Coming up on WFT News First at 5, a new law in Indiana sparking a heated debate over religion and discrimination. We'll have details coming up. Good news. B WFT's Bianca Bahamandis joins us. Bianca, what's new in Hollywood? So going back to The Daily Show, I didn't know who Trevor Noah was until now. Did you guys? No, I've actually never heard of him before, but hopefully he does well. Yeah, yeah I've seen him on the show or two. I mean, he's pretty funny, but you know, maybe he's proven himself to become the next host. We'll see if he lives up to Stewart's standards. Thank you, Bianca. Well, after a cool weekend in North Florida, the warmth has once again returned. Coming up after the break, UF forecaster Brittany Van Voorhees will let you know what to expect for the week ahead. Stay with us. Welcome back. Well, the San Diego Zoo introduced a new furry addition to the world. The mother, Nindiri, gave birth to the jaguar cub on March 12th. Bright eye and wobbly leg, the 18-day-old cub explored its cave bedroom before the zoo was open. The attentive mother gave the cub a bath as it lounged in the straw. You can see a longer video online, although there is not yet a live cam. Thanks, Brittany, and thank you at home for watching WFT News First at 5. BBC World News is next, followed by WUFT News at 6. And your local news is always on at WUFT.org. Have a good night.